Okay, so this is a real short video just to answer one of the questions we've had submitted by a customer. And that question was how to measure curves accurately with Bluebeam. And now we could look at them firstly as a perimeter measurement, so a length, and then we'll have a look at an area measurement. So we often might measure them by using the perimeter tool and we could do them like so, where we could click, click, and make facets of a curve like so okay so there's 9.426 let's try that another way now and this could be the more accurate way say if we start with a perimeter again and we'll come down from there to there we'll go across to that point and we'll go there now I press escape on my mouse I select here and I say convert that by doing right click convert to arc and now it gives us these two extra little handles so now I can pull that right into there with that handle and I can pull it into there with this handle and again I can just smooth it into that circle and that curve by using both handles now if I'm not getting it I can then bring another control point into play by just pressing uh, shift and my mouse so I've got another one there, and again I can just get it more accurate, like so, okay. And if I still can't get it there, I might put another one in, there. And that's brought that into there now. So you can play around with that to get it bang on the line as you want it, okay. Now, obviously. <laughs> If you're doing that for maybe taking off curbs, you might not bother to do that because it's quite fiddly, but it's a way of doing it very accurately. If you were doing something very specific, you could actually measure it as so. So that's using the right click convert to arc option. Okay, uh, let's do that now with a curve. Let's do, uh, let's do this area here. So we're doing area measurement, we're going to go like so trace that we might go to there to there you see I'm making um, I suppose what would you call them radials so look it's quite a funny shape and I press escape I'll click on this section I'll convert that by doing right click over that convert to arc and I get those two little handles again and I can drop it into there like that I'll do another one here click on that section of the measurement right click convert to arc I'll get my two little handles and I can just pull them back as so stretched out if they're a bit fiddly it just takes a bit of practice getting used to them and how you actually move around okay and uh, we'll go over here right click on that convert to arc again pull them back there a bit mm, that's not bad uh, we'll go here again, convert to arc, and we'll pull it back to there, pull it back to there, pull that one back out again. It just takes a bit of playing around with, but you'll get there in the end. So there you go, that's fairly accurate now. I could actually bring that up a bit there. Don't forget, you know, you bear, you bear in mind you're going against the thickness of the line on the drawing. So look, there's a very accurate way of measuring an area. Okay. Woo! <laughs>